there is what people call the unconscious. Now, in the unconscious is all the hatreds. I hate my mother, I love my mother, I want to kill her, I want to kiss her, you know. It's all that crud, and that's where uh, psychiatrists, psychoanalysts work, in that, in that crud area, you know, love and hate, love and fear, and so forth. But in everybody underneath that is what I call the deep unconscious, which is the soul. Now, you can call it the God within, you can call it uh, whatever, There's, yes, everyone's got words for that. Uh, soul, I think, is, is a nice one. Now, the soul, to me, is to be distinguished from the spirit. Because you, you, you read like the soul ascends to heaven when the person dies, and they get confused. Now, to me, as I said, the soul is the deepest part of the self. It's the innate godliness that everybody has. Stalin, Hitler, all of them. They all have this, this deep uh, godliness, which, which is there, but very often not, not very well adequately expressed. The muse, call it whatever you like. And, um, and, and if you can just get past all this superficial crud and go to the unconscious, then everything changes. And no matter how disturbed, whatever it may be, I have to always remember, under, underneath that there is this soul, this perfection, this innate perfection, this Buddha nature that everybody has. So that's the soul. Now the soul is the deepest aspect of the personality and dies when the person dies. I talked about my mother uh, stroking her great-grandson's head. That at the end she was only soul. She had no ego. In the mental hospital, you see the souls. I had an earring court full of souls. That Their egos were so unimportant. There was no dishonesty, no hiding. They just revealing, to a large extent, the inner self. Right? Uh, not entirely, but to a large extent. Now, when we die, the soul dies. But as I understand it, there's also a spirit inside us, which enters us at, at conception, I suppose, uh, evolves in some way through all the vicissitudes of its incarnation inside me, us, and then at death, it returns to the spirit world to come down again for another incarnation, and that goes on and on. So, I die, my soul dies, the spirit within me, which is not me, but within me, like I carry it around all the time, but it's not me, and, and, and it's like a parasite almost, learning, learning from what I, I do experience, my good fortune and bad fortune, and then it says thank you as I die, and it passes off. I often think if, if the spirit was really fair. As, as we lie there dying, it should say, thank you very much for, what, for looking after me for all those years. Maybe it does, I don't, I'll find out one day, but I can't tell you.